three things stand out about this Ink Master's techniques, and they are how he shades using line gradations, creates the illusion of form with stroke density, and uses contract as a stylistic element. Fredao Oliveira is a master tattoo artist from Brazil, known for a line style that looks on skin as though it was rendered on paper. In today's video, we'll examine his work and how we can apply his techniques to an original creation of our own. I rendered a full piece to analyze what stood out generally about his style. And now we'll look at specific techniques by practicing samples. In technique 1, shading with line gradations, we render this wavy muffin shape at the bottom of the cat design. The strokes in this example are of equal line weight. I'm rendering with an 05 fineliner pen throughout the sample. I'm shading from light to dark by gradually reducing the space between the lines. It's a straightforward values chart and when applied to a shape design gives striking results. Technique 2, create a form with stroke density. In the second example, we render a variation of that gradation scale. We'll start with a single feather, then shade a portion of the wing. He uses sparse lines in the areas of highlight, just like in the example before. But for the areas of shadow, he not only pairs strokes together, he also increases the number of strokes to build that tonal density. If we group feathers together to construct a wing, the strokes not only tighten together, but become denser in quantity in the areas of shadow. Then, adding bolder contour lines creates contrast as a style element. I'll come back to his use of contrast when we ink the final piece. Now that we've looked at his techniques, we're ready to experiment with a composition for our original piece. He combines several subjects, skulls, nature, beasts, and other elements, like that wavy muffin cat we did earlier. I went ahead and gathered references to combine three subjects. I'll try a raven, a lily, and maybe a xenomorph. Yeah, my first three attempts failed, but the fourth, the fourth try had potential. I redrew a pencil underdrawing on my bristle inking paper. Um, the master draws on his tablet or with fine liners, but today I'm opting for India ink. For the ink application, I'm using a small mapping nib for the fine details of the eye and head of our main subject. I switch to a number one watercolor brush for solid areas. And alternating with a bigger nib for all other bold lines. The shading techniques practiced earlier are applied in this final piece, using sparse strokes in the areas of highlight, achieving gradations of light to dark by reducing the space between the lines, and increasing the number of strokes to build tonal density. These inking techniques are universal, they're not unique to him. However, how he combines these art fundamentals makes his work stand out. You'll note as I'm constructing the raven, the feathers on top have lighter values with a bold outline. The feathers underneath gradually fade to black through stroke density. That's a standard shading technique. The style element is that each feather is rendered in a different pattern. Here's a crow I did in 2022. 
This was before I started studying the Ink Masters, and for comparison, in today's bird piece, the various patterns, stroke density, and bold outlines all combined give the illusion of volume. In my 2022 piece, the patterns are uniform, without variety. I'm using highlights, but the gradations are abrupt, especially in the underbelly of the bird, where that section looks flat. With more experience and studying the Ink Masters, I find now that it's best to ink a complex piece in sections, rather than outlining the entire subject. Applying the ink in sections helps with keeping track of the overlapping elements. That way, based on the source of light, you can add your cast shadows right away. Then revisit the midtones or add contrast as a final touch to a complete piece. I hope that you enjoyed this study of master tattoo artist Fredano Oliveira. Let me know in the comments if you decide to revisit some of your old pieces or design artwork for a tattoo. I'll be curious to hear how that turns out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.